Hi there. In this video, I'm going to be demonstrating a new feature in QImage Ultimate 2019.121 that helps you select the right printer profile for your printer and the media type that you're using. In other programs and in previous versions of QImage, we would select the profile based on the paper that we're using and the printer that we're using. And there's two ways to do that in QImage. You can drop down this and select Choose New Profile, but I prefer to just click this button right here for profile settings because it gets you to the same place quicker. So I'll just click on here and in this dialog where it says printer profile, we would click the browse for ICC profile and pick the one that we want. And this is just showing you um, the previous versions, how they worked and how other software works. You would scroll down and try to find your P800 printer. I have a bunch of printers. Most people won't have this many, but uh, even if you have one printer, you could be faced with a lot of profiles. Uh, you can see some of them are named Epson. Uh, keep on scrolling. Some of them don't have the Epson and they just start out with SC P400. Let me scroll down to the P800. Keep going. P800 and that's Premium Photo Paper Semi Gloss. Uh, there it is. So I can pick that, choose open, and then the correct profile is loaded in here. But now there's a much easier way to find the right profile. Even if you go into this dialog here and you're already in the browser where you're browsing your profiles, you can just click on this suggest button. And what that does is it sorts profiles in the order of relevance for the printer and media that you're using. So if I click that button, it immediately finds the semi-gloss profile that we were searching for in that long list. And there are some others that are less relevant and they go down in relevance as you go down the list. So really all I have to do is click that button, verify that, yeah, that's the right profile and click open and we got the right profile in there. Now we already had the correct profile in here before, so I'll show you an even easier way to get in there by changing, uh, let's choose a the premium luster paper. So now we've changed our paper type and QImage has remembered the settings from before when I chose that, but I hadn't selected a profile yet. So let me go back into here, just like I'm gonna select a new profile for this paper, for this luster paper, click on that button and rather than clicking to the list first and then clicking that suggest button you can just click suggest from here so right next to where you would normally browse for the profile you can click suggest instead and it opens that dialog up already in the suggested order and you can see that top of the list it's already found the right profile I don't have to scroll it's already selected I don't have to do anything but just click open and then OK and now you can see in here we have the luster profile and this will work for any printer um, let's choose the Canon Pro 1000 uh, Pro 100 is the same way so we've got photo paper pro platinum in here and we have not chosen a profile yet so I'm going to click this just like I was selecting a profile out of that long list and then just click the suggest button instead of the browse button when we click suggest, the list comes up in relevance order and Photo Paper Pro Platinum comes up right at the top. I don't have to click it. It's the top one is selected by default. Just click open, OK. And now you can see that we have the Photo Paper Pro Platinum profile. Uh, changing the paper type, let's change to uh, Premium Matte. When we change to the premium matte, we'll notice, no, we have not selected a profile for that paper type yet. So I'll click here, click the suggest button, and then right at the top of the list is Photo Paper Pro Premium Matte for the Pro 1000. It looks at the printer and the paper type. So even if you have multiple printers, and I do, the Pro 100 also has this paper type, but it found it for the Pro 1000 automatically. So now all I got to do is I will verify that 
um, and then click open and then OK on this dialog. And now we've got premium map profile. So that makes it so much easier to find your profiles uh, based on the printer and the media type that you're using. It's kind of an intelligent way that it sorts it based on relevance, almost like a Google search. Um, you might ask, well, what if I have uh, some Ilford paper or something like that that uses the, uh, let's say, uh, the luster. They recommend using the luster setting for the Pro 1000, but it's really Ilford paper. Well, when you go in here, you'll notice when you click the suggest button, it'll find the Pro Luster paper. That's the one from the manufacturer. It'll find that first because the name matches the name over here for the Pro 1000. So that's the first one. But as long as your profiles, even your custom profiles, if you're careful to name them similar to the name that's in here, in this media type, uh, like if you have an off-brand luster paper, just name it Photo Paper Pro Luster Acme Brand or something like that. And it'll find the Photo Paper Pro Luster even if you put it in front, Acme Brand Photo Paper Pro Luster. It'll still be sorted near the top of the list. This one will still be the first one, so you might have to go down a couple, but it'll generally be on the first page. All of the ones that fit this description pretty closely, even if they're a little bit different. Um, that's about all you need to know to use this feature. Um, I will note that some printers uh, particularly the Epsons, they don't always name the profile the same name as the media type. And some older, older printers, this just, it, it won't give you a list that makes sense. But most of the newer printers, the name that you see in here is pretty close to the name of the profile. Uh, but if it's not, that's why I always say double check before you click this open button, because sometimes it's the second entry because the manufacturer put a slightly different wording. They might have they might have put uh, photo paper dash radiant white in the profile, and it's just photo paper radiant white up here. And there's another one that's close to it, so they they can get out of order sometimes. But a lot of times you'll find that it's the first one, and if not, it's generally on the first page. And at least, even if it's not on the first page, it will look at the printer, the Pro 1000, and it will group all of the Pro 1000 profiles together. So you just keep going and there's all the Pro 1000 profiles at the top. Uh, regardless of their relevance, they're all grouped by printer first. So you won't have to go scrolling through a huge list, especially if you have multiple printers, in order to find it, even if it's not the type, top item that you were looking for and you have a bunch of custom profiles. You may have five profiles for one paper, uh, different lighting or different versions of that paper or something like that, but they're generally going to be on, on this list near the top if you've named them close to the manufacturer's name plus some custom identifier before or after that. Uh, but even if not, at least this sorts the list, no matter what printer you're choosing, we go back and choose one that we haven't chosen yet. Uh, let's do the Epson 3880. Uh, premium photo paper glossy. That's a pretty common one. Let's change it to semi-gloss. Uh, then I'll just click this. Click the suggest button. And right there it is at the top of the list. You can see it, the full name down here. The one that's selected, it shows the, the full name down here. And even though they strung all of the words together with no spaces, it still figured it out. Premium semi-gloss photo paper. And this says premium photo paper semi-gloss, so even the words are out of order, but it still got it as the top search, the top relevance. But again, my point is, even if you have a ton of profiles for your printer, all the ones for the 3880 are going to be listed at the top when you do that suggest because it sees that the 3880 is in use when you clicked it. So scroll down and you'll see all of the, even though 
they're all different. This is Epson SP3880. This is Epson Stylus Pro 3880. All the 3880s will be listed together and then it'll continue to other printers after that. So hopefully this will be a big help in finding your profiles, selecting the right one, and not wasting time or risking errors. You can generally depend on it being very close to the top of the list, if not the first one, if it's a manufacturer paper. And if it's one of your own custom profiles, you can easily find it. Hope this video helps, and thanks for watching.